metal dialed 38 and a half millimeter watch from Goodspeed. So when Jeremy from Goodspeed, that's this guy here, the owner, reached out to me on Instagram, which a lot of people reach out to me on Instagram, and honestly, I kind of prefer the messaging on that. It actually works really good. So if you're trying to get a hold of me, maybe try Instagram. Anyway, um, he shared some pictures and uh, the launch process they're going to do and everything, and uh, I agreed. I'm like, yeah, send that over. I definitely want to check that out. I really like the case profile on this. It's nice and brushed and rounded and a nice size. I think it'll resonate with a lot of people. Plus that dial is just very, very clean and classic looking. So 38 and a half millimeter case, 45.3 millimeter lug to lug. He did say this is a prototype. Like a lot of the uh, watches I get on the channel, this is a prototype. It will have drilled lugs when they go to production. I don't know. I kind of like the clean look of it too. So Drilled or, you know, clean, either way, I think is going to be fine. I think a lot of people prefer to have the drilled lugs, but I think when you have a bracelet with a nice relief like that, you don't really need it. I think it's kind of clean the way it is. So, Jeremy, if you're watching, if you're not 100% dead set on the drilled lugs, maybe consider again non-drilled. Either way, it looks fine. The crazy thin at only 10 millimeter, and it has a flat sapphire crystal up top, and you can see how flat the case back is to the case. That is crazy thin. The reason they can do that is they're using the Miyota 9039, which is the no-date automatic movement, three-handed, and those are really thin movements to begin with. Great choice, and you won't have the ghost uh, date position, so it's the proper movement for this watch design. 20 millimeter lug width, bracelet tapers down to 18, pretty standard affair there. You have the five micro adjust, double pushers, and a fold-over keeper. Also, the uh, atlas or globe with the G on it for the sign clasp. Same thing you're gonna notice on the six and a half millimeter screw down crown. So if we take a look at the case back again, you can see good speed scout and there's some real estate above there if you would like to do an engraving such as a name, if it's a gift or something like that, you're gonna be able to do that there. This also does hold a 200 meter water depth rating this is going to be a pretty much everyday, all things, whatever you want to do with it kind of watch. So I'm going to put a link to the website in the description. Uh, that should be good. There might even be a, I'm sure there is a way you can click on that to get to the Kickstarter. But even if you're not um, going to buy one of these or do whatever, click the link in the description. Go check out their website. His advertising on there is awesome. It's like vintage inspired, but like the golden age of vintage inspired. It's like that uh, Andy Griffin show era type uh, just ads on there. And it's just so cool and so fun to look at. There's a lot of them there too. It's not just one or two. There's a bunch of them there and it's just fun to look at. So go check that out. Three colorways for the new Scout. This one's the green, obviously. There's a black uh, and then there's a blue. Now, when I say those colors, see where the green is? That's the color, right? So the green one is obviously this one, and then the blue and the black is just just that ring. That's the, that's the color. The dials are going to be that brushed metal with the Scout. I love that, that font, too. And then the automatic and good speed up top. Very clean, easy, well done, easy on the eyes, symmetrical dial. So super easy to read. Now... The indices, as you can see, are basically reliefs in that color. So what you're seeing is basically just the solid metal bezel below it, or not bezel, dial. Um, the loom pips are pretty small, and I'll try to do a loom shot, guys. This is a prototype. The loom is not great on this one. He did say that was the two main things that's going to be changed, drilled lugs and better loom. You hear that a lot when you get the prototypes in for the micro brands. Let's pop this on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. And you also notice I have another watch sitting off to the side. This is not the first watch that Goodspeed has done. This is the third watch that they have done. This is another one that he gifted to the channel. And I'll do probably a separate video on this, but I just kind of wanted to have it over here. This is the Sonoma. This is using the Seagull uh, chronograph uh, manual wind movement in it. So you can see it's actually going around right now. So pretty cool, fun looking watch. But I, that's going to be a separate video. I just wanted to have it out here so you can see it. More importantly, I do want to show 
this guy here because this is the watch that is most relevant for the future because there's going to be a Kickstarter launch in January and the price is going to be around $400. So if you are interested in a 38 and a half millimeter, pretty much do all field slash field dress casual, whatever you want to call it. This one checks all those boxes and looks good doing it. And uh, well built, great movement, sapphire crystal, screw down super thin. This thing is going to be super wearable. Obviously, it's going to be a, a strap a monster for the size of the case and 20 millimeter lug width. So if you want to ditch the bracelet and start putting natos on there, this thing would be awesome on a bunch of different natos if you uh, tend to wear natal watches. All right, so let me kill the um, kill the lights and like I said, the the loom is there. It's green. It's probably C3. It looks good. The main thing is the indices around the outside, those are going to be brighter. I don't know if he's going to make them larger, but there's going to be a thicker application, so it'll be brighter. Uh, not that they're they're not horrible now. Now that I'm looking at them, they're, they're still visible. They're just going to be better. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next vid.